So my name's Anna Simeon. I'm a biologist at the University of Guam's Marine Lab. Because Guam is a really connected area, because we have a lot of boat traffic coming in for you know shipping reasons, for military reasons, for you know any reason a boat comes into Apra Harbor, um, we're always under the threat of invasive species or introduced species that then become invasive species. And so part of the you know part of one part of this thing that we're trying to figure out with this project is are any of the species that we have here actually invasive when we don't know it? Or how are we going to detect invasive species for the future if we don't know what we already have? I have taken samples from, um, if we're just talking Micronesia, we've taken plenty from Guam, um, Chuuk, Panape, Kazurai. Uh, we tried to look in the Marshalls. We didn't actually find any of this plant in the Marshall Islands, which was really an interesting thing. It's 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 really interesting to see how connected these islands are. Like if you look at the genetic code, how closely related is one area's genetics to another area's. So for instance, you have Kazurai and Panape share a lot of genetic crossover. So there's a lot of movement between those islands. And, pa and Chuk and Panape, same thing, lots of movement, but there's no movement between the genetic populations of from, from what we've found anyway, from Chuk and Kazurai, which is kind of interesting. And then there's Guam that has connections with everything. Like it's, we have specimens related to Okinawa, to the Philippines, to Chuk, to Panape. Um, it's really, it's really been pretty fascinating. So not only do, are we looking at several new species that are specific to Micronesia and so far found nowhere else in the world, but you know, we have a lot of connectivity between these islands, which is very important if you're interested in invasive species. Mm -hmm.